my channel. So if you've watched yesterday's video, and if you haven't, you yeah, best go and check that one out. But if you have watched yesterday's video, you will have realised that today is part two of my epic haul. So without further ado, I'm going to start to roll the tape on the Hobbycraft haul and I hope you all enjoy. Bye! So, like I mentioned, not only did I go to the range, but I also went to Hobbycraft. Now, it is a big haul, okay? I did spend quite a bit of money, but probably not as much as I would have done if they were all like their normal price. Quite a lot of the stuff I got in the sale, so definitely if you're ever in your hobby craft, go and check the clearance section because the amount, and I'm, I need to stress this, the amount of stuff I have bought in the sale has saved me a good probably maybe 100 to 150 pounds if I'm if that's if that's yeah probably about 100 to 150 pounds so even though I only spent 60 and some of you out there might be thinking either wow that's a lot of money already or 60 quid's nothing for me I really like to justify my spending so for me I can justify at least to myself that uh, only spend 60 quid and save a good say 100 150 was a bargain so I'm gonna show you the stuff that's not in the sale to start off with so if I zoom you in now the first one is some tacky glue this is just a normal kind of PVA glue it comes with a more of a small nib than some of the others I went for the smaller one because I don't need that much. I only wanted a small bottle so it will fit on my desk properly. I've got loads of PVA glue at home so once this is finished with I'm just going to keep refilling it. I have got this one which has a really 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 thin nib but it keeps clogging up at the moment and it's stressing me out. So I thought I've used this before, I stupidly chucked away the packet so I bought myself another one. While I was there I also picked up some of these Ranger uh, ink blending foam pads, I think that's what they're called. Now I've gone for the Ranger ones basically because I already have the more square looking pads. I've got the square blending tool rather than the circle one from Tim Holtz. They work exactly the same, these are slightly cheaper, that's the only difference. But yeah, I basically like to use like one sponge per ink pad and what I also do is do some double sided tape onto the top of my ink pads so then when I use the ink I've always got the sponge so that's that and a little helpful tip for you guys out there. I also picked up this washi tape, I am going to try and undo it. And doing this on camera is probably going to be the worst thing ever. If I can find the end. Do, 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 do. Does anyone else struggle? Aha, here we go. This is more of a paper one. That might sound really stupid. But basically, it's of maps. It's of the world, guys. Like, I've never used anything like that before. It's probably really, really plain and really, really boring for some of you, but I've got a little project coming up pretty soon, so that's going to come in ridiculously handy. I've also gone and grabbed these. Now, these are some alphas from Hobbycraft. You get 280 in a pack. They are mini alphabet stickers. They're in a typewriter font, if I show you an extreme close up there, there we go, and it's in like a white wash effect, something I really really love. I have these in the black, the brown and it's more of a, like a note paper style, so yeah, I just picked up some of the white ones because they had them. Oh, I'm running out of table space. I also picked up these. If I zoom you out, there we go. Also picked up these. These are kind of lowercase alphas. They are a thicker set from American Crafts. They're called Delight. 
and loads of loads of numbers like half of the pack are numbers loads of loads of J's loads of kind of A's and E's which I mean let's face it we run out of them all the time so for me it was brilliant there was 256 alphas in the set so I picked them up and I also picked up this set which is called Doll. I have had these before, they are a beautiful alpha. They do come in various sizes, so you have upper and lower case which is fabulous. And you have quite a lot of like E's and A's again. Again, you have some numbers, not as many, but at the end of the day, for this particular set, I'm kind of all about the actual letters and Adele look you only get four well I was gonna say you only get two because I would use them as B's the lowercase ones so realistically look if I show you if you use them as two B's I've only got two Q's bargain so anyways that's that little set and I also ended up buying some papers okay so the first one I went for was this. This is the crepe paper from the Oasis collection and this is called Palm Springs. I bought it for the cut apart. Like I said, I'm doing a little um, project that's coming soon so you'll see this in action. It's got a beautiful stripe on the back but like I said, I'm using it for the cut apart. And the only other paper I ended up picking up from the same collection was this oh, oh my god oh my god oh my god absolutely stunning i picked three it has a beautiful kind of water effect font just says weekend with a few kind of splatters every now and again now this one like i said is still from crepe paper still from the oasis collection but this is called getaway absolutely stunning literally cannot say any more than that oh love it now the rest of the items are all from the sale so i'm going to start off with paper now i ended up Ooh, let me zoom you in ended up grabbing the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection you guys have probably seen this thousands of times before but I have never managed to get my hands on this paper pad it's always been way too expensive for me to justify the amount of money it costs so the fact that it was in the sale for three quid I thought do you know what I'm gonna treat myself I'm gonna go and grab that I also, while I was there, picked up this one. This is the Little You, but in the girl version. Again, you have probably seen this thousands and thousands of times. But I thought it was a really, really cute set of papers. I don't have any children. Obviously, we plan to in the future. Whether I'm lucky enough to have a girl is another matter. But at the end of the day, I want to show you guys out there that regardless of this being for a baby you can obviously use it for other things than that so I picked up that one I also picked up a whole ton of washi tape now I don't need any excuses I've got a lot of washi tape already however these are all from an amazing amazing company and if they're watching I love you guys okay the quality of them is like second to none I've enjoyed every single washi tape I've ever purchased from this company and the packaging is brilliant so plus they were all half price so it was just I had to so the company is Little B I'm gonna really zoom you in here so that you can see there we go so the company is called Little B I love the packaging because just here you have a little sharp blade so basically, if I demonstrate, again, if I can find the end, well hey, so basically, when you want to obviously rip some off, you just poke it through there, 
she says. And if you want a little bit, you just tear it off. How freaking amazing is that? Like, no word of a lie, that is probably the best packaging washi tape has ever come in. Absolutely brilliant. So, anyways, like I said, these are all half price. They are usually quite expensive for washies, but at the end of the day, the quality of them is beautiful. So, I ended up picking up, like I said, quite a few. I'm not too sure whether they have names, so I'm just going to obviously show you what designs I picked up. So, I picked up this beautiful, it's like an Aztec style. It's in a turquoise with some gold foiling and the black and like a... It has got like a white diamond in the middle, but the white's quite translucent. So I picked that one up. I also went on the Aztec theme and picked this one up. This is a thicker washi. So again, to get this for like two pounds rather than four was a absolute bargain. That is the style of that one. Really, really funky, loads of gold foiling. Oh, stunning. The other one I picked up was this. Now, this is obviously a black and gold honeycomb. Absolutely beautiful. I've never seen a washi tape like this before. I don't really have that many black washi tapes in my collection. So I thought, bearing in mind it's the black and the gold, I would definitely use this and it looks stunning. Keeping with the black and gold, I also picked this one up. I don't really scrapbook about Halloween, but oh, just look at that. Like, I just thought, look, it's two pounds. I'm going to freaking well grab this while I can. So I picked up the spider kind of cobweb pattern in the black and the gold. I also went for a gold and kind of, it is a little bit more translucent. But this is a gold foiled heart, again on a thick band. This is probably one that I would potentially cut in half if I wanted to, but it's nice that it comes in a thicker band ready to use. Again, two pounds, an absolute bargain. This one I was a little bit unsure on. There's quite a lot of green on this actual washi, but I thought, bearing in mind it's two pounds, I really can't... I can't really moan about it basically, so ugh, if I try and just unstick this bit, oh, oh damn it, right there we go, so this is a floral, it's really really cute, it's pinks, kind of like a baby pink and then a fuchsia, really really lovely pattern. There is, again, quite a lot of green on there, but I could probably live with that. So, I grabbed that one as well. On the same theme, I also picked up this one. I am so in love with this one. It is unreal. Again, another washi tape I have never seen before. This has loads of loads of little shells. I'm gonna try and come really up close in the hope, there we go, how beautiful is that, like, oh my god, guys, oh my god, now, I don't always go to the beach, but this is certainly going to give me a good excuse to go there now, so I picked that one up, and the last one that I picked up is for, oh, well, hey, is this one, this one just says, um, kind of, I do, tying the knot, getting hitched, all those sorts of things in regards to getting married. Now, if you don't know, me and James got married last year, and I have never seen a washi tape that celebrates marriage, apart from the traditional, like, I love you, and all that sort of jazz. So, when I saw this one, I thought, look, it's two quid, I might as well grab it. I'm going to be doing my wedding album soon, so that's going to come in super duper handy. So I managed to grab all of these. I'm actually going to have to zoom you out for this one. Managed to grab all of them, 
half price so like I said go and check out your local hobby craft because this little bundle here saved me a fortune Ooh. now talking about fortunes this is the other set of bits and pieces that I may have gone slightly overboard on but they're all half price so I ended up grabbing quite a lot of thickers so I picked up these sets of thickers here the majority of the thickers that I ended up grabbing I picked up two they were half price so I thought I might as well get my money's worth and get two for the price of one so that's the logistics of it so these are from American Crafts these are called Fancy they've got a silver and a turquoise kind of glitter loads of different words you've got best ever so happy wonder here love you play dream a whole load of collection of different obviously potential titles this is the second set of alphas like this i've ever purchased my first one re over from mrs c scraps bought me my first ever set and i fell in love with them so thank you my darling because i've now gone and got some more so they're going to come in handy i also picked up these this is probably the only set i didn't manage to get two because there wasn't any um, which i'm really really gutted about because these are a beautiful beautiful alpha these are a wood grain alpha they are called patchwork they have like a wood grain effect on them they're really really stunning they're a lovely font as well you get quite a lot of alphas which is really really handy again the other thing is you obviously get some numbers quite a lot of numbers as well the reason I mostly picked up this set was because of the cues okay the cues just look like bees but upside down okay so even though I have three Q's I've basically got six B's that's how I've I've kind of logistically planned those Q's out so lots of alphas there I also picked up these now again I did pick up two of these but in two different colors these were two alphas which are glitter i don't necessarily enjoy the glitter ones as much as the standard kind of matte ones or the gloss however they're two pounds they are a really really lovely alpha and font and color and by the looks of it the glitter doesn't shed as much as my other cheaper ones have so i thought i would pick these up I picked up the white and more of a greeny turquoise because I thought why not again quite a lot of numbers which is perfect there is 186 alphas on the entire pack which is really really handy and I also thought bearing in mind that they're the same font I can always alternate the letters so I could have one blue one white one blue one white that sort of thing these are still from American Crafts. They're called Sunny, which is really, really nice. Again, the cues have just got a little tick at the bottom. I can, in fact, just turn them around and they will more than likely look like the bees. So I'm not too fussed on those. And there's quite a lot of J's in there, quite a lot of E's and A's, which is perfect. So I grabbed those. Now, the other two sets are... I believe the girl and the boy version so I'm gonna show them together they are called starlight like I said I think these are the girl and the boy version to the little you collection but I might have just made that up but they are a really ridiculously beautiful font they've got a blue and white it makes it look 3D, that's the easiest way to describe it. And they've got obviously the horizontal lines going through them. 
I love these alphas because you get one line of large ones and one large of small. They are all capitals, but the fact you get two different sizes is amazing. The only disappointment that I have is that sometimes some of the letters you get less of them because of that, but you still get 169 alphas altogether. Again, you get a whole range of numbers, again in the two different sizes, which is really handy. A few bits of punctuation, but not that many, but I very rarely use the punctuation, so I'm not overly bothered about that. But yeah, I picked up the blue and the pink because I thought, they're two quid, why not? So overall, this is my entire thicker collection and I must have saved a ton. That's how I'm gonna word it. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 pounds I've saved. Is that right? Yeah, 14 pounds I've saved on all of that. So, bargain absolute bargain and then last but no means least the last item that I picked up I thought was a good bargain okay I picked up the chipboard from pink paisley fancy free now I don't have any of this collection whatsoever I don't even think I've seen the paper pad if I'm honest you're probably all wondering where the hell I've been I don't know but basically I have seen I saw the thicker chipboard set I picked up two of them they were half price now I do have a bit of a love-hate relationship with these if you are a regular of mine you will have seen I bought about four of the heart day or love you collection or something like that it was all kind of hearts and girly and valentine's day -y. um yeah i bought four of them and i think i've only used one so even though i've picked up two of these i know this is going to last me a long time and my plan is to start to get to use these because i buy them and then i don't use them they literally just sit on my desk and look pretty so I'm definitely going to be using these. I love the colours, I love the fonts, I love the words that are in this collection. I know that I'm going to use every single item on this chipboard set and that is the best thing to look at it. When I buy bits and pieces, I don't just buy them because they're a good deal, I buy them because I know I'm going to use them. So. Even though I've literally just said to you, I bought four of the other set and I've hardly used any, that's because I hide them away and I forget I've got them. But in regards to the chipboard, I only buy ones that I know I'm going to use either the majority, if not all of them. So yeah, that was my last bargain of the day. So can you see what I mean, guys? Epic on all levels Hobbycraft haul. Well guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this double series of my ginormous haul. Obviously a haul that I never actually set out to do, but I was just lucky enough that God showed me exactly where I needed to go and you know, I'm thankful, man. I'm thankful. I got all these goodies practically half price. Mwah! amazing anyways enough of me rambling if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a cheeky thumbs up if you're new or old to my channel make sure you check out and click that subscribe button and i will catch you all again very soon